Hello and welcome. My name is Alan. We are back with some more news of the day. Today we are doing the news for July the 28th, 2022. We got three stories today. Number one, the PACT Act. It is a health care bill that covers veterans who were made ill by toxic burn pits. Well, turns out Republicans uh, basically said, screw you to veterans and decided they weren't going to vote for the bill. They say, you know, oh, it, there was something different added in. No, it's not. We know it's not. John Stewart's been talking about this quite a bit, and yeah, it's don't don't let it be said by Republicans that oh they are the you know backers of our. Veterans, no, clearly they aren't, because they wouldn't even back them to, you know, to try to give them better health care for those who were made sick by burn pits. Second thing we want to talk about is House Resolution 1808 was passed in the U.S. House of Representatives. It now goes to the Senate for discussion and a vote. Um, 1808 is an attempt at banning assault weapons. Again, I don't think there needs to be an all, uh, outright ban, but there definitely needs to be strong restrictions. If you're outside of the military, the only people who need them, museums or um, those who show such things as exhibits, they need a special license for it. And then, um, gun ranges should be allowed to carry them so that people can actually go and fire them at the gun range. But otherwise, you have no need or purpose to have an assault weapon. You may go, oh, the Second Amendment means I can own any gun. That's not quite what it's meant to be about. You know, oh, you may want to have an assault weapon. I want a harem. We don't always get what we want. And if you're going hunting, you don't need an assault weapon. Regular rifle, 308, 22, something like that. Shotgun. Bow and arrow to defend your home. A handgun. We do not need people just owning assault weapons because they want to own an assault weapon. That serves no purpose. Like I said, there's certain people who I think should be allowed to have them, but again, it's either gun ranges who can rent the guns to be shot at the range, or uh, those who provide them as exhibition pieces, uh, pieces such as museums or... Uh, 
anything like that. I think that would be fine. The last one I want to talk about. Um, in this area, these border counties of eastern Kentucky and southwest Virginia. On Thursday, well, Wednesday night, Thursday, we went through some severe rains. It got bad. It was a flash flood. Um, I know here parts of the four lane highway, the water crested over the banks and over the road. Uh, it fully encompassed other parts of the road here in town. I'm sure there's other parts of the counties and nearby. I've seen pictures of houses knocked uh, from where they stood and cars overturned. I mean, this was some seriously strong flooding. Um, the aftermath here, we, we had to kind of, uh, widen the ditch line so it could go through. It, it pulled the pipe, uh, water, water line, not the water line, the, uh, drain pipe on the driveway out it almost pulled it straight out of the ground but yeah it's completely uncovered it you can tell it's tried to rip it up the road that leads to the hauler where i live and the hauler to many others or the the driveways to where i live and driveways to many others has divots and grooves in it where the water just decimated it. Uh, yeah, it it was pretty bad here. Um, and of course, I've seen other pictures around here, but Eastern Kentucky got the worst of it, from what I understand. Um, it's bad over there. They found the bodies of numerous children that had been swept away uh, by the flood. Um, there's around 16 to 20 people they know they that had died from the flooding in eastern Kentucky. And uh, they expect the death toll to rise. Um, I mean, this, this was a seriously strong flood. It, it was up into the yard and got up to the, the big stone, uh, stepway that led to the porch where I live, so. Yeah, it's, it, it got up pretty high. Swallowed many bushes whole uh, we had in the yard and stuff. Uh, but yeah, Kentucky, Kentucky suffered the worst of it. Um, you know, if you're religious, send prayers, but do implore anyone, if you can, to please find a reputable group, donate, so we could try to get some relief in the area. Because, like I said, this area is, su is suffering through hard times as it is. Yeah, we we just we need to help.
because this this was a devastating flood. Um, yeah, and of course, it's still expected to rain on and off here. So, of course, you know the flood waters have already receded, but still. But, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and end this episode here. As always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tries to tell you something you have trouble understanding, ask them to cite their sources. I will be putting sources in the description below the video. I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, later.